And that's what's unique about the National Arts Festival is I feel that we're always just managing to stay ahead of the curve thematically in terms of where artists are at. Even the film program, a particular film that's shot entirely on iPhones. This year's collection of curators have done an extraordinary job in finding thematically works that hinge together and speak as a program. The collection of creative energy around this year's festival is fresh, it's new, and I think people are going to be surprised. And that's how you stretch audiences, that's how you challenge them. Some of the stories will be uncomfortable, but that's why we do it to provoke, to challenge, to create conversation, to create dialogue, and to take audiences on a new journey. There are certain conventions that you apply to making a traditional piece of theatre work that would sit neatly in a darkened auditorium where the audience sits back and watches the actors on stage. What the works this year are proposing to do is to take theatre off from the stage, to take it into people's backyards, to take it into a public space. The kinds of works that have been selected are challenging the way we've always made theatre, the way we've always made art. The National Arts Festival is an entirely unique South African and indeed African experience. You can see a dancer, a filmmaker, a visual artist, a performance artist, all tackling this particular theme, Voices and Silences, tackling their particular stories in this space of 11 days.